Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my September TBR. Now, you can see I look a bit different. I'm going out tonight with Chris for date night. We're supporting the government by having a half price meal at a restaurant, so I look nice and I'm so excited. I have done it again. I've set myself too many read-alongs, but I am going to fit them in with the books I've got now. I've got the Crime and Punish reader month on that the lovely Danny is hosting with some other lovely people. We've got a lovely group on Boxer that are doing that. We're reading Crime and Punishment over two months, September and October. It's a slow but sure one, so I can't wait for that. I don't know where I put the book, but I will show you at some point in this video. I've also got the Fall Into Reader Reading Challenge, which has got two boards. Um, there's one that's got about nine, I think there's one that's got over 20. But I will link Tia, at least one of the host challenges for that. I've already done some great, Let's see if I can find them. That's the second board. That's a bigger board. You can't really see the price, but it, it means I can fit it in and write down what I'm doing. And I've got another one there. And that's running over the whole of September, October and November, which will work perfectly. I can work my books into that. And then at the end of September, Clint and Melanie, Clint from Reads Readers and Melanie from Completely Melanie are hosting the Fall Into Readathon, which is the first ever readathon I ever did two years ago. So I'm going to fit my books in with that. Fingers crossed it's all going to go all right. I have got a lot of books on, on my, the, my plan for this month, but the kids are back at school. I'm back! So it's, it's exciting. I've got some great video plans for September, October and November. September and October anyway. And yeah, let's see what I'm doing. What are you doing? I've got quite a lot of buddy reads again. I had none in October, in August. Like I won and then this month I've got loads and I've got a few in, in October planned already. So it's a bit busy. But first things first, let's get in and see what my TBR jar picks. Da, 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 da. Let's do this now so I don't forget. I have got everything I ever told you. Oh, that's the one by Celeste Ng. That one looks so good. That is, da, 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 that is not a long one. Yay! I know I loved Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, so I'm looking forward to reading this. That's going to go. It's going on my shelf. I can read that. TBR has been nice to me this month, so that's going to go away. Let me just make sure I've put. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so that's the TBR jar's going back, and I can tell you the buddy reads that I'm doing. So, go and put those ones, all those books to one side as well. I am organised, really, I am. So, firstly, I'm going to be reading Emily of New Moon with Krista. I love, I loved the Anna Green Gable series that Tia was hosting that read along. Couldn't really stop. So when Krista said that she wanted to read more of Ellen Montgomery's works, I had this that I bought this. Oh my goodness, I love my birthday. Not this year, last year. So this is one of my older books. I only bought it because it had Emily in the title and it's the Emily series. It's a series. I've got the third, but I'm waiting for the second. I think I saw it at my cha local charity shop and I'm hoping they've saved it for me. If not, I'll be ordering it second hand because I've got to have this series. I can read this at bedtime. time. It's when Emily's father dies, she's left in the care of her mother's family. A stranger to them, though. They don't want the responsibility with a heartbroken, headstrong girl. Headstrong, that sounds a bit like me, doesn't it? And it's eventually decided that Emily should be sent to live on New Moon Farm with the stern Aunt Elizabeth, head of Murray clan, kind Aunt Laura and eccentric cousin Jimmy. I can't wait to read this. I'm so excited. When Krista said she wanted to read this as well, I was like, yes, this works. Then on a very different note, I'm going to be reading this with Chloe. You guys know I love buddy reading with Chloe. It's, I bought this for my birthday this year, this year. We Will Not Be Silenced. Jean McLennan spends her time in almost complete silence, limited to just 100 words a day. Any more and a thousand volts of electricity will course through her veins. Now the new government is in power. Everything has changed, but only if you're a woman. This is dystopic, this is YA, this is exciting. I cannot wait to buddy read with Chloe. I'm hoping this is one of our good ones that we've picked. So excited. Then on another very different note, I told you I've got a real mix of genres this month. It's the third, the Tudor Queen series. Now you guys know I loved Anne Boleyn and I also loved Catherine of Aragon. Me and Elise, I'm buddy reading this with Elise from Elise Reads and Speaks. Now... I don't know a huge amount about Jane because she obviously had a shorter life. She died. She was the one that died. She was the one that he loved and gave him the son. 
but I don't know much of her backstory, so I'm intrigued. This is where it starts getting interesting, because this book and the rest of the ones, I don't know much about the later queens. I only know about Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn. So this is exciting. 11 days after the death of Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour is to marry the king. She witnesses danger and deceit that lie beneath the courtly pay, and she knows she must bear a son or face ruin. Queen Jane must step out of the shadows cast by Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn, but in doing so, can she expose the gentler side to the brutal king? Now, we all know he really loved Jane Seymour, but is she portrayed as quite boring from the book what I've read about her? I can't wait to find out more. I'm going to be reading this with Elise, so that's going to be brilliant. We love our Tudor books. Oh, I'm really loving my Tudor books. And I love Alison Weir's writing. It's brilliant, so I can't wait to read that. Then... I will tell you in a bit what my friend's choice was, but Clint did choose this. It's not, he's not my, Clint did my friend's choice book, which you it's exciting to find out what he's chosen for me. But he, when we were chatting, he, I also said, can you also pick a thriller? So he's had his proper friend's choice, but I said, can you pick a thriller for my shelf? And he picked The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Now you guys know I love Turn of the Key, but I have heard mixed reviews on this book. I'm going to be buddy reading it with Clint and also Kelly from Cozy Reader Kelly. We've got a little group set up on Instagram to buddy read this. We are reading it in time for doing at the end of the month for Clint's Fall Into Readathon. It's a thriller. It also matches the challenges for the other readathon. And I'm excited because I don't want to know too much about it. it. This is meant to be the perfect trip, the Northern Lights, a luxury press launch on a boutique cruise ship, a chance for a travel journalist, low black lock to recover from a traumatic break-in except for things don't go to plan i don't like knowing too much about thrillers but like i said i've heard mixed reviews on ruth Ware, so i want to see if i like this as much as i like turn of the key then another buddy read Christ, i told you i've got loads leanne moriarty book you guys know yes you can tell in the excitement i love leanne moriarty's works I bought this full price, which I don't actually very normally do. I'm buddy reading this with the lovely Danny from Spinelli Speaks. She also loves Leanne Moriarty's work, and I loved what I just forgot. Hypnosis. Now, I have mixed reviews on whether hypnosis works and much about it. I do know that meditating works because I've obviously done that with my CBT, my mental health. But hypnosis, I, it's kind of a... I don't really want to make an opinion because I don't really know, understand it too much. Therapist Ellen O'Farrell's new boyfriend, Patrick, just told her a secret. He has a stalker. Ex-girlfriend Saskia won't leave him alone. She sticks close to, close, close to shadow. At first, Ellen's disturbed, yet also curious. She'd like to meet Saskia. But neither Ellen or Patrick knows that she already has. Exciting, nervous. It's a chunky book. It's probably one of my longest ones for the month. It's cripes, here we go. How many months, how many pages is it? 500 pages. Well, I did some big books in August. It looks like September's got the same. But it's Leanne Moriarty. Excuse me. I love Leanne Moriarty. Love Danny. It's our first ever buddy read. So I can't wait for that. I think that's towards the end. I can't remember when exactly I said I'm doing that. The next book is one that I could easily scream. The lovely Charlie from Charles Heathcote bought me this as a birthday present. The Foundling by Stacey Halls. The cover, it's a hardback book. It's got the most gorgeous end pages. I can never thank Charlie enough for giving me this book. I loved The Familiars, and to have this hardback book is absolutely beautiful. And I will always, I'm grateful for everything you guys get me, but this is beautiful. Two women bound by a child, a secret that will change everything. It's set in London in 1754. Six years after leaving her illegitimate daughter, Clara, at the London's founding hotel, hostel, so, um, hospital, Bess Bright returns to claim the child she's never known. But then she finds out that someone else has already claimed her. I'm buddy reading this, the lovely Amy from PSI Love Books. I love Amy. Love this book. Cannot wait to buddy read it. I think, again, it's one I'm starting. I think this one I'm definitely starting in the second of the month. I love the familiars. So I think this is her second book. And I know that... The lovely Simon from Savage Reads loved it. I know that a lot of my friends have loved it and I cannot wait to read it. It's not too long. It's about 600, 370 pages, but it's beautiful. And like I said, this copy is one of the most gorgeous books I've ever owned and I love it. So thank you so much. Then my last buddy read is the third in the court of 
Miss Ring Court of Ru Wings and Ruin. Now I'm reading this with the lovely Linda from Linda's World of Books. We are reading this slowly but surely. I think it's over about two weeks. It's the third in the series. I'm going to either buy the rest of the books in the series or read them on my library book. The painting was a lie, a pretty bright lie with bursting of pink blossoms in fat beams of sunshine. I don't know who this is really about. The back doesn't really give it away who this is about. I was about Freya's return to Spring Court, determined to gather evidence on Tamlin's manoeuvrings and invading King and the invading king threatening to bring Perinthian to his knees. But in doing so, she must play a deadly game of deceit. Oh, I, I love to. I love the second in the series. I love the first, but the second was amazing. Is the, this third one as good as the second one? I'm nervous. The lovely Julie from the Hungry Book Road gave me this as well. It's another blooming gorgeous copy. It's got very plain in pages, but it's beautiful. And the front is just gorgeous. So can't wait to read that. God, my chunky books. So those are my buddy reads. I love them all. So excited by all of them. Now, you guys could have predicted some of what Clint said. Talk about the devil. Clint's messaging me right now while I'm filming this. <laughs> and you guys could have known. I it was so much fun. When I asked Clint to be my friend's choice this month, I kind of wanted something fun. And I knew that with the kids returning to school, I wanted something fun to read. And there was a choice of books on my shelf. And I thought, is he going to pick this or is he going to pick that? He picked one of the three that I was going to, that I knew he was going to pick. He picked To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I know he loves this series. I bought this for my birthday again this year. I had the second, but I wanted, I bought the first and third. He says it's perfect to brighten me up. He said it's perfect to make me smile. Laura Jean's love life is about to go from imaginary to out of control. Apparently, he said, I think there's some recipes at the bottom of the back of it, or about recipes at the back of his copy. I don't think there is at the back of mine. But it's absolutely gorgeous. He said it's really light-hearted. He said it's fun. He said it's just what I need. He really thinks it would make me smile this month. I love you, Clint. I can't wait to read this. Can't wait to read that story. Now I've got the book. Now I've got the book I was meant to show you anyway, which is my book for my readers on. This is the Crime and Punishment. Bought this. I can't remember if I bought this this month or last month, but it's a Dostoevsky book. It's I'm really enjoying like the group chat on Boxer for this, and it's. My copies are very, very old. You can see it's all tattered and old copy, but it looks. It's another translated fiction, so it goes for my translated fiction goals. I am looking forward to reading it. I'm looking to read it gradually. Now I've got the other books. So I have picked a book. I've got, you guys know, up there, I've got my 100 books, bucket list books. This book was on there. I bought it ages ago. I'm prepared. It's going to be a weepy. Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt. I bought this ages ago, and it's a non-fiction books okay it'll go for my non-fiction goals when i look back on my childhood i wonder how i managed to survive it all it was of course a miserable childhood an unhappy childhood is hardly worth your while worse than an ordinary miserable childhood is a miserable irish childhood and worse yet is a miserable irish catholic childhood it's non-fiction it's going to be hard hitting so i will probably have to read it alongside the laura jane book but it's one that again it'll go off my bookish poster it'll go off my other poster that I, other list of books I've got to get through so I need to crack on and get it now I've mixed in some interesting books I, can't love, I love I love the books I picked for September I'm so excited I picked a lighter book a historical fiction book you guys know I love my Maureen Lee but normally I would add it in at the end of the month but I thought I just wanted to read a book it's sisters you guys know I love my sisters I've got my two beautiful sisters, Charlie and Vicky, and then I've got my absolutely amazing surrogate sisters like Helen and some and Emma. They're, I love them so much too. And this is set in Dublin in 1925. Well, oh, don't they have read many in 1920s and in Dublin? So that might count for another girl. Patricia, Tara and Ad Adeline couldn't be more excited about leaving home and that with her father, Bernie, and heading to a new life in Liverpool. It soon becomes all this not clear. After they arrive in England, Bernie sweeps, sweeps the girl onto a huge ice and ocean liner heading for New York. Ooh, this looks exciting! It's sisters. I love it. It looks brilliant. I love Maureen Lee's work. Just cosy works I need. Then at the end of the month that I'm going to read for the prompt of a book with yellow on the front cover for Clint's Fall Into Read Sun. Love on the Rocks by Veronica Henry. I know September, the end of the summer, but summer's already gone, but I still like the look of it. I love Veronica Henry's work. I love the chiclet. I thought I needed a good chiclet. Bit of a reminder of summer in this. And it looks good. So it's got yellow on the cover. So it matches that challenge. Looks beautiful. Looks lighthearted. Looks fun. It's just what I need. 
then you guys know that even with October in October, I'm going to be reading stacks of classics in that. I've got some other books to mix in already for that. But I wanted to get a classic over and done with. And the classic that I'd originally chosen is down that it might be the group read for Victoria. So I couldn't read that. And that was one that was one of the Charlotte Bronte's books. I think that was Shirley. So I couldn't read that. So I've been stupid. I got this full price when it was in lockdown. Tess of the Devils by Thomas Hardy. When we were doing a planning for another video, video that I'm doing with a group of people on Victoria, we were chatting about this and I read one of Thomas Hardy's books. I think I read, I can't remember which one I read, but I wasn't a big fan of it. Now I've heard the writing on the Tess of the Devils is very, very good. But I've also heard, heard that it's probably one of the hardest hitting, emotional, disturbing. Kate, Kate Howe was like, good luck. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm nervous. But I wanted to have a, obviously get my classic in. It's not a long classic. It's only like 550 odd pages. So it means it's a shorter one. But it's one that's going to be challenging apparently. But I love this copy. It looks beautiful. And Chris is in the background. I'm still filming. And then I wanted to read another non-fiction book. I got this from the lovely gift from Becca's book. From Becca Bookshelf. The Prison Doctor of Women Inside. That's the second book by her. It looks gorgeous. It's going to be hard hitting. It's another one that's got yellow on the cover. So it might again... I want to read that at the end but I loved the first book The Prison Doctor so I really couldn't wait to read this so I was going to pay full price for it anyway so when I got this as a gift I screamed couldn't wait any longer for that I have to read it and it's more about the women in the female only prison so heartbreaking stories from women inside Nicole from A Beautiful Curse Books has read it and she loved it can't wait to read it don't need to say much more about this then for another goal, it's for my books on the royal family. This is The Quest for Queen Mary. I bought this for my birthday with Clip with Chris. And it's a book on Queen Mary. Don't want to know too much about it, but it was only like £1.25 for my charity shop. It is about Queen Mary and I don't know much about her. So I wanted to read this. I wanted to get one of my royal family goals in. And I thought an informative book in September while the kids are learning might be good. Then lastly, the last book that's on my TBR is the next book in the Lunar Chronicle series. Clint, I forgot to tell you, I've got it. If he wants to do another buddy read, we can read it together. But this is Fairest. It's one of the novellas, but it's the next in the series for the Lunar Chronicles. Then I believe it goes Winter, then it's Star of Above. And this is about Queen Nirvana. And it's about, but long before the, the, she crossed paths with Cinder, Scarlet and Cress, Nirvana lived a very different story, a story that's never been told until now. This is one of, like I said, it's a novella, so it's one of the shorter books. I can't see how many pages it is, because that's typical, isn't it? But it's not too big. Oh, here we go. It is only 220 pages, so it's one of my shortest books. I love the Lunar Chronicles. It's another one of my sort of fantasy series. Going to get to that. It's exciting. Can't wait to read it. Now, I am so excited by the books I've got for September. I don't think there's any that are going to really be disturbing or be ones that are, like scare me i've got the readathons to, to sort of pack in as well these books obviously are ones i'm definitely going to be reading but if at the end of the month i've got some other books that i might do i think i've got a book up on my shelves that's a sci-fi book that i'll reach another one of the girls that if i get time i'm going to read that i've got some of charlie's books that she's lending to me that i might read i like to have enough books that i know i want to be able to get through them but not too many so at the end of the month or if I need to, I can dip into other books and mix and match them in. But what do you guys think of the books that I'm reading? Please comment below. Let me know what you think of the books that I've chosen for this month. Let me know if there's any you want. If you want to join in on any of our buddy reads, I'm sure that my lovely friends would be welcoming because they all are. You guys are amazing. Thank you for so much for all your support on Instagram over my little break. Thank you for being so supportive and understanding in general. And watch out. When I come back, I'm going to be exciting. Yes, there's no, really, really no favourites videos anymore. I think I'm going to try and keep my keep this channel to really is focusing on my booktube booktubes. But I still talk about my lovely booktube friends. I still say say check out these lovely people that I that I chat to. I've got so many friends on here. I'm also loving doing more work on Instagram. So please check me out on there. Still down to Snowbell novels, and I'm loving it. The breaks done me the world of good. It's great to be back, and I'll see you all soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.